On the UWSP campus, one art form that gets tossed to the side is comics. I am a BFA, so fine art. I specialize in 2D. I've been drawing comics since I was about 12, even a little bit before that. Um, it's just, I was a poor kid, and it's a easy way to entertain yourself is a notebook and a piece of paper. Um, um, so, I didn't really get like seriously get into drawing comic strips until about two years ago. Um, I bought like a cheap little graphics tablet, um, and one day in a class, I got like a really great idea, and I was like, I gotta draw this. So, I just took one of my assignments and I just like doodled the whole strip out on the bottom, and I was like, this is pretty good, but I don't know what to do, what to do with it. And I was like, well, I could draw with my graphics tablet on the computer and just throw it up on Facebook for my friends and they liked it so I kept drawing them over like after that uh, semester all over summer I just drew a whole bunch of strips I drew like 10 of them and I had done some websites in the past and uh, I was like you know what I've seen a ton of other web comics they're great I should just throw my hat into it see how I do so I worked with a friend, got a website up, and that was about a little over two years ago, uh, MrLovenstein.com, and uh, just started throwing my strips on there. And I've been doing them Monday, Wednesday, Friday, every week since then for two years now. Justin has no set method to writing his comics. He uses everyday experiences to get ideas. Oh man, it's, I admit it's really hard. Um, when I first started, it was... Like, I would just try to, like, sit there and be like, all right, time for a joke. And uh, stare at a blank piece of paper like this and just, like, start scribbling stuff down. And that just did not work. So it's gotten to a point now where I constantly have to let everything I'm exposed to um, give me ideas for jokes. Um, if it's just everyday conversations or if I'm just spacing out or if it's something in class even. Um, I let that inform me and try to create a joke. I just let it percolate. I write them down. I... One artist that Justin would love to meet would be Don Hertzfeldt. I would love to meet, and I almost met him, uh, Don Hertzfeldt. Um, if you haven't heard of him, he, like, in 2000, he did this, uh, he does animation, he did this animation called Rejected, you can find it on YouTube. Um, it's got, like, a lot of famous quotes, like, I have a banana! I, or my spoon is too big. Um, he's done a lot more since then, and it's really beautiful. And um, I just, I'd love to like meet him because I always kind of wanted to get an animation. He does it all by himself. Um, you know, 24 sheets for 24 frames per second. Uh, you know, uh, pencil and paper. Uh, he doesn't use a computer. And I just find that really inspiring. For me, I, I, I want to get into as many things as possible, and hopefully that will pay the bills. So. Um, doing fine arts, so paintings, um, drawings, and trying to sell those in galleries maybe. But also I would love to just keep going with my comic strip. I do make money on it now, but it's, it definitely wouldn't pay the bills. I probably make less per hour than a sweatshop worker. Um, but if I could make a way to uh, make a business out of that, sure, that'd be great. But I'd, I know I'd have to supplement that with other, like maybe commercial art, doing logos. Whatever comes at me, I'll take. I have like a caricature art job coming up this weekend, so I'll really take whatever I can get as far as an artist. For more campus, national, and world news, stay tuned to The Pointer at pointeronline.uwsp.edu.